Good evening, guys. Hi, I'm Ambassador Justice Sennessy. Special advice to the President, Echoes Youth Council. Welcome you to our one and only platform, Echoes Youth Council Leadership Series, a platform where we bring leaders, young influencers to come and encourage the young people. And here with me today, we have the youngest city mayor in the Echoes region. I would like him to please introduce himself. Well, thank you. Like I said, uh, my name is Jefferson Tamakuji. I'm the law mayor of Monrovia, capital city of the Republic of Liberia. Right. So we are, we discovered like you are the youngest city mayor in the Echoes region. So what what have been your drive so far? How do you get to this post? <laughs> well, basically, uh, my ascendancy to this uh, post uh, got to do with my passion, my conviction, I've been very enthusiastic with my leadership ability. And I began first as a national youth and student leader and I, when we were involved into national activism, we started with civil society and later we ascended from, from student one to civil, national civil society engagement, for national civil society engagement. I also went into national politics where I saw myself being the chairperson of then the opposition, uh, the leading opposition movement in our country. And subsequently from being opposition, we fought and uh, we are now the ruling establishment. Uh, so we brought a leader to power. After that, uh, presided over the vast majority of the segment of that institution. I think uh, the, the way we were able to portray the young people uh, the leadership were able to provide for them uh, over 85, 85, 65% of the population. And so that is that fair enough. So it's very befitting for people like us to take over the responsibility uh, to preserve over the capital city of Morovia as its city mayor. Great, great achievement. So far, so good. How many people have been impacted in life in terms of your leadership skills and um, your focus? How many people have been impacted in life? Uh, basically, we, for us, our core value of our leadership is about how we touch the life of people. You lead by example, and that you be able to say, well, you have the power, but you be able to destiny authority. And now, so far, we can say to you, most especially uh, ranging from my history, a far back as student leadership can also record, we did not only serve our leader, but we were able to inspire young people, those young people to their stand. Some of them became a uh, leader of their own, and some of them now uh, they are across the group. And currently, what we have done, we already created young people to believe in to themselves, uh, telling them, like I said to you, one of our, our distinct achievement have been in 2005, I was then not the, the youth leader, when the elections were held in this country, and uh, witness chaos. And, uh, but then the, our party was being considered that the young people was being very hostile. Of course, we are victim of propaganda. Uh, in 2011, similar thing took place. But in 2017, when I took over as a young person, uh, took over the mantle of leadership, uh, we can certainly say we went through a process of very hectic and tedious. Uh, but there was no bloodshed. Uh, there was absolutely no violence. So it takes to you know it was keeping upon the fact that some of us were prepared to provide direction for the young people and in that leadership we were able to make them believe that look you can achieve what you want without being very hostile you can achieve what you want by providing your passion can be directed your conviction can be directed in the form of a matter where you can be able to comport yourself to the greater good or the collective interest of the country. So at that approach, you we saw how we mentored them. So today I can say to you now becoming mayor, we have created a space, not just only presiding, but inspiring them to believe into themselves, inspiring them to believe into that country. And all we reminded them that look, uh, you know, this generation will come and pass. You guys are the incoming generation. So that you belong to this country more. So you have a greater stake into this country. So whatever you get engaged into, you must be very conscious of the fact that you have a lot at stake. So because you have a lot at stake, you must be able to invest, you must be very conscious, 
you must be very meticulous in positioning yourself. So that's how we have been uh, shifting uh, the dynamics of our leadership over the time. Right. As a face of a young um, city mayor in Echoes region, what's the advice for the young people out there looking up to you? Because uh, most of the young people out there who don't have access to you, even apart from Liberia, was a, would you have a mentorship um, um, section you want to be having with them or what's your advice towards them? Well, basically, I want to say thank you like what you're doing now. Uh, like you, uh, I want to commend you. Uh, you serve as an ambassador and are living from Nigeria and trying to you know, stress your tentacles uh, as far as in, into Liberia. So my own kind of advice will have been to people look, like we are African and let us not see you know, uh, the title being you know, imposed upon us by borders, but we need to understand that we are one family and uh, irrespective of where we from, whether you are a Nigerian, whether you are a Salonian, whether you are a Ghanaian, or whether you are what you may call a South African, we must realize that we are we are African and we are one people, and we must consistently be reminded that look the way the Western, you know, sometimes like I would take interest in that people say the United States of our, you know of, of, of America. So in deeply in my sense, and I say to my people, when can we say a United? You know, a united continent of Africa, where you know, where all of us, a united state of Africa, where all of the African countries can come. And I think Africa, you know, West Africa, like we're doing, we can begin to champion such approach. We can begin to champion such mindset. What we African can take pride of ourselves. We African can begin to to see the need, uh, you know, of uh, ensuring that we promote the spirit of oneness. We promote the spirit of globalization. And I like, like I was offered to, to go to uh, Italy and have an opportunity to speak on the climate change. I was very clear to question you know, uh, the European. I said, look, we are not with this industry, these companies, but Africa become victim of climate change. We have our forests here, we do not have all these companies here, but those people who are engaged into some of these companies, uh, the effect is directly being felt by we Africans. So we are saying to you that if we Africans can begin, the sooner the better we get to realize that we are one people. The sooner the better we get to realize that you, the effort you're doing, and we can come to change, to, you know, to build rings together and to ensure that this continent can be one of the, you know, can be second or not, it will be so fantastic to all. So my advice to our people is that patriotism, nationalism should be the hallmark to the day-to-day -day activity of our leadership. Right. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. Also.